I'm Sunny Oliver Bennett and I'm the Corporate Partnership Manager at Engineers Without Borders. I'm Lizzie Brown and I'm the CEO at Engineers Without Borders Australia. And I'm Hamish Banks, I'm a Structural Engineer with ARA. So the Corporate Partnership was uh, something that was established by Daniel Lambert, a uh, water engineer from ARA, uh, about three years ago when he recognised that there, were, there was a real overlap between the, uh, the values of Engineers Without Borders and ARA and saw that there was great potential for our staff to get involved in the work with Engineers Without Borders. So through the Community Partnering Program, um, with, some fun, with the help of some funding, uh, the relationship was established and, and since that time, uh, engineers from offices all around Australia have been working with Engineers Without Borders. ARAP has been a gold corporate partner of Engineers Without Borders for just over three years now and um, this partnership has involved um, a number of different projects through our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander program. There's also been different staff through ARAP around the country that have been involved in organising events and initiatives through our chapters. And also we've started exploring opportunities for international collaboration and also um, the opportunity for ARAP staff to participate in development and leadership experiences in India. Oh, it's, uh, I'd really like to see uh, the relationship flourish even, even over and above what it is now. I think we've already got quite a strong partnership. I guess looking far into the future, I'd really like to see uh, each of the offices around the country have a maybe a dedicated project or a relationship with, with a local community uh, and an ongoing project in that community so that um, it's the momentum stays up within that office and, and people have really got something that, um, that they feel that they have a sense of ownership over. Um, but it may not be that, it might be something as simple as just uh, mentoring the uh, EWV volunteers in the area or even just getting engaged with the, with the local chapter. So I think it's sort of a a uh, partnership that doesn't need to have any boundaries um, and uh, we'll just see what happens in the, in the coming years. Engineers Without Borders looks forward to working in partnership with Arab into the future to co-create um, you know, our, our partnership opportunities, whether that's working with other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities or working with disadvantaged communities across Southeast Asia. Um, so we're really looking forward to that and, and we believe that we have a really strong partnership model um, to create social and environmental change into the future. Discussions are just starting at the moment between Engineers Without Borders and Arab to look at ways that we can collaborate overseas as well as with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities here. And for the first time, we'll have a number of representatives from ARAP participating in our development, education and leadership program to India. So this is a, a three-week program during which a group of about 16 to 18 participants from EWB corporate partners travel overseas to meet our volunteers in the field and actually spend some time visiting our project sites and that of our community partner organisations. So it's set up as a training program very intense training program and it's a brilliant opportunity for young professionals in particular to broaden their perspective on the role that engineering and appropriate technology can play in supporting community development. So we're absolutely thrilled that Arab's now going to be an active participant in that initiative. Just to finish, I think it's um, really valuable the community partnering program that Arab has established. Um, it's fantastic that a big corporation such as this provides opportunities for, for engineers to engage in work in the development sector. Uh, it's not every day that you find companies that do this sort of thing uh, and, and to directly push it, uh, sort of uh, promote it within the staff and provide people with these opportunities is really fantastic. Engineers Without Borders really appreciates the support that ARAP has provided not just to the Shipton's Flat initiative but also to other aspects of our work. ARAP was one of our first corporate partners and they've been working together with us for over three years now. And it's organisations like ARAP that really enable us to, um, to bring together the resources and the momentum that we need to get our work done. So we really would like to thank everyone who's been involved in the Shipton's Flat project and other aspects of the EWB ARAP partnership for their contributions.